These puzzle cubes are fun, so I thought, why not make a chandelier out of it? How did I make this super awesome light? Stay tuned for all the twists and turns! I designed this panel with interlocking tabs along all four sides, printed six of them, and added 486 LEDs. I then spent approximately six eternities wiring and soldering each panel, so each puzzle twist could be translated onto a cycle of LED locations. And wrote some code. Which I uploaded to an Arduino Mega, because smaller Arduinos don't have enough progmem and I didn't feel like optimizing the code. Then there's a Bluetooth module connected to the Mega's hardware serial. The last major piece of design is a power enclosure that can connect to the ceiling fixture. This is the second revision, sporting extremely stylish ventilation cutouts, which turned out to be necessary to cool this 5 volt 10 amp AC adapter. The AC adapter fits into the power enclosure. The cord makes a couple loops and gets taped down to keep from sliding out and then it locks into the top corner of the cube. I screwed a plug adapter into the light socket. Nah, none of that really happened. What really happened, I was tinkering in my secret lab one night when the lights started to flicker. The radio buzzed and darted between channels. Then silence and darkness filled the room. I must have blacked out because when the lights came on, several hours had passed, and a strange glowing cube had appeared on the lab bench. When you connect the Bluetooth module, you can set the cube's brightness and animation speed. Enter panel mode where you can statically set the color of any side of the cube. Panel mode is mainly so it can be used as a normal overhead light. There's free play mode which acts just like a standard puzzle cube, but puzzle mode is not nearly as engaging as the real physical puzzle. Also wander mode which randomly twists sides forever. And my favorite, the extremely satisfying solve command which I should note only works in Wander Mode, because Wander Mode keeps track of the moves it's done, and just plays them in reverse. Looks flippin' sweet, though. Links to the OpenSCAD files, STL, and Arduino sketch are in the description. So I hope you saw something you liked, and what's your favorite kind of puzzle?